chilling, laying in the cut though, easy, trying to see what up though, Brooklyn, home of the cut though, notorious, y'all the home, West Coast, sleeping, one not open, cause I'm always scoping, watching, seeing how these lanes look, lazy, that's how you get your friends to money, I got shit, I need some, money, I got money. Talking, always talking. That's your problem. You always talking, rock star. Ciao. That's my song right there, y'all. I had to give y'all a little intro to that. That's Kaylee Forty Seven Money. But excuse me, I'm I'm going through my. I need a haircut, y'all. I know I'm looking like the little African boy on the, on the little commercials where they need money. Trust me, I'm eating good. I'm living fine. But. I um, was scrolling on my Instagram yesterday, right? And I see all these girls were selling this flat tummy tea. And I'm like, number one, I'm going to tell you what my problem is with this flat tummy tea and all this shit. If you gonna get on this, if you gonna get on Instagram and you gonna sell this flat tummy tea, number one rule: make sure you got a flat stomach all through in all your pictures. Don't come out here and Photoshop one of your pictures and then I scroll down your Instagram and you got a belly looking like you just had a baby. Okay, at least make it make sense. Like Monique said, make it make sense. Um, then my other problem with it is yesterday, it was just like. It was like they had some cookie. So yesterday was National Cookie Day or whatever. So all the girls was up there. They had a cookie in their hand or whatever. And it's like they were selling a, they, they, I don't know what they call it now, to shake it up. But I'm like, hold on. Let me see if I can find it. Uh. They sell this. See, and then they take it down off their page. That's what I'm saying. So what's the point of even coming out here talking about you sell flat tummy tea? If oh, got it. Okay. The shake it baby, that tea shit. So yesterday it was Cookie Day, right? National Cookie Day. All the girls was down down on their Instagram and they was shaking it. Um. Um. They was shit. They, they they all was just shit doing this flat tummy t shit, and I'm like, okay, I get it. Y'all are getting paid to do this paid sponsorship and shit, but I'm like, okay, at some point in time, all of y'all can't be selling flat tummy t. Somebody needs to put a a a a, a stop to this shit. Um. So. I'm just trying to figure that out as to where did this flat tummy tea get so big on Instagram. Because, you know, it sends a bad message out to the young girls out there because, oh, they're looking at this like, oh, they out here selling flat tummy tea. Let me see if I can get my, let me see if I can drink some tea and my stomach will get fat. No, I don't believe that shit is misleading. These bitches is not drinking that motherfucking tea and they ain't working out. You know what they doing? They going to see motherfucking Dr. Miami. Okay, don't lie to me, bitch. I ain't mad at it. I don't surgery shame. I shit. I want to get me. I want to get. I told my friend the other day. She's a big girl. I told her, you know what I want to do. I said I want to get your fat, and I want to put some of it in my butt and some of it in my thigh, so it'll be equally equally proportioned. And that's what I told her. And that's that's the truth. I ain't mad at nobody to get surgery. We just don't be on his selling flat tummy tea all day, acting like that's what it is, cause it's not true. Y'all are misleading as fuck. Okay, and like I said, one day y'all got a flat tummy, the next day y'all stomach poking out. I guess, or whatever. It, it, um, I get it for the girls like Alexis Sky 
and um the girls like Alexis Scott, the girls off love and hip hop and stuff like that. I totally get it for them. That them them is the girls that need the exposure on Instagram. I totally get it for them. But these artists and shit, like, you know, little moles and all of this shit. And I'm like, y'all bitches and little mo was up there selling flat to me. He quite just kept little mo. You ain't got no flat stomach because you got all them kids, girl. What you need to be, you need to be trying to figure out how you can um get rid of them stretch marks on your stomach. That's what they need to be selling, okay? But I ain't gonna go too hard on the flat tummy tea. But I'm just tired of seeing it scrolling on my. I wish there was a way you could mute shit. Like you know how they got it on Twitter. You can mute certain words that you are stuff you don't want to see. I wish they had it like that on Instagram. Um. But it's just so annoying. But I'm done with the flat tummy tea. I'm not gonna read them too much. But what I did want to really get in here and talk to y'all about is the nature of my channel and some things I want to change up. Um, I think I'm gonna cut back some on this reality TV review thing. I'm not gonna stop. But this week, I'm totally taking a break. It's, it's gonna be like, okay, so like the reunion of Love and Hip Hop, I tried to watch it. I tried to watch Love and Hip Hop. It didn't play on my Fire Stick. It didn't play on my iPad. So I was like, maybe I should take a break. Like, I don't know if the Wi-Fi was going slow, whatever, but stuff like that is a signal to me. So I'm not doing any um, reviews this week of any TV shows. I will um, until Friday because I'm going to do the Married to Medicine review because that's my favorite show on TV right now. And that show is a little different to me. It moves me in a different way than these other shows do. Um, what else is I come here to talk about, y'all? Name change. I'm thinking about changing my name, The Notorious Truth, to something. But I'm not sure as to what to change it to as of yet. Thinking I may I may keep it the same because that's what my channel is really about. Telling the truth. And I just took the notorious and put it with the truth. Um, I'm going to at least try starting to cut. What I'm going to do is, okay, so... Well, I can't cut that because Love and Hip Hop Atlanta comes back on. And I usually get a big audience so love and hip hop will come back on the housewives will be over soon i'm pretty sure i think so and when that happens tuesdays it's um well, let me see housewives no Love and Hip Hop, Monday, Sunday, The Housewives. So I try to consolidate those two days, which it never works. Um, so Tuesdays and Wednesdays will be the days I come in here and talk to y'all about real shit in life, different topics and stuff. So, um, I don't know. Um, so... Tuesdays and Wednesdays, I'll try to get in here and talk to y'all about some real shit that's going on. Because nothing comes on on Tuesdays and Wednesdays besides Black Ink Crew, and I quit watching that. Um, Fridays, Married to Medicine is about to be over, so I won't have anything to talk to y'all about on Fridays and Saturdays. Um, <clears throat> Sorry, y'all. I'm working. I got to get this coin. But, yeah, that's really all I wanted to come in here and talk to y'all about. I'm about to come in here and give y'all uh, some real shit, a real shit video. But I just wanted to come in here and talk to y'all about these flat tummy tea bitches and um, the content of my channel. Because things are about to change. I want to grow. And it seems like y'all like the real life topics better than y'all do 
the reality TV reviews. It's mixed. It's mixed reviews. A lot of people, some people like the reality TV. Some, a lot of people love the the real life topics. So I'm just gonna switch it up. I'm gonna cut back some on the reality TV. Um, I'm gonna cut back, stop some shows, add a new show to review. Um, and I have a feeling I know what that's gonna be. Actually, I'm about to get in give y'all that review now because it's a good show and I want y'all to get into it too if y'all haven't seen it already. But I'm about to get out of here. I hope you guys' this hump day is going very well. Um, yeah, just stay tuned.